Hi guys, this is a quick video uh, highlighting some of the amazing integration that you can do with a CME Witty Master. Now, um, this is a little sneak peek because we haven't officially announced it yet, but we're really excited uh, to be actually partnering with the guys from CME um, and we're going to have a really cool bundle available, not with the, the Witty Master, but with the new Witty Jack that is yet to be released. You're actually going to be able to get that in a bundle with the Bridge 4 and the Bridge 6 this Saturday, uh, Saturday Australian time that is, on Kickstarter. So that's really cool. So a lot of people out there are wondering, well, how do I, how do I integrate Bluetooth with my, with my rig and what are some of the advantages? So going to take a look at a really practical example. I've got the Korg um, module app loaded up on the iPad here. I love this app. It's really, really cool. And I've gone through and just created a couple of custom chords assigned um, to the, the message stacks on these switches. Now, one really neat thing about having so many messages available um, at this time, you can have up to 48 messages on the bypass, 48 messages on the active, so toggle on or off. Um, and then a bunch more messages on press, double press, um, hold and hold release. Um, and why you might need that many, for example, is not only can you trigger really complex chords, but you can also uh, adjust CC parameters or whatever it is you want to you want to do, jump to a new bank, and you can do that all in real time with a single button press, which is super cool. So I've got the Witty Master here connected to the MIDI out. And in this example, you might want to send data from the MIDI out um, to another Bluetooth device, which I've got it paired with the iPad. So we can uh, take a couple of chords for an example and we can I'll make sure the volume's turned up on this. So all I'm doing there is sending some note on messages uh, for the toggle on and then corresponding note off messages when I toggle off. Um, and this doesn't have to be note on messages. So for example, let's go in and take a look. So this is the onboard CC, um, sorry, MIDI messaging um, configurations. So we can go to channels. Now we'll go to channel two. We can foot switch two here. I'm not gonna look at the LFOs. I'm going to look at the messages. So we can see active messages and if I scroll through them, you can see there's a couple here. So first one we've got is um, F2 and A2, C3 and E3, all at velocity 70 for, to keep it simple. And then back to the start. Now we can add a new message here. We can we could make it a, um, a channel pressure, a, a pitch bend, a, an extra note off, uh, whatever we want to do, but I won't add that one. Um, and we can go back to any of the channels. So we could go to channel... Uh, channel 4 and we can take a look at what messages I've got there. So this time let's look at the bypass messages. Um, you can see they're all just note off. Um, and they're the notes that I was playing on, on that foot switch there. Um, so that's a really quick practical example of how you might integrate um, Bluetooth with your MIDI setup. If you're um, you're a frontman or you're leading a song and you want to be able to trigger some drone pads or some cool synth lines or whatever it is, you can just preset that up. You can have different banks for different songs and different parts, and you can just send all that um, via Bluetooth to, to whatever device it is. If it's a synth uh, with another uh, witty device or an iPad or a MacBook or another laptop, whatever it is, then you can totally do that. And another cool um, I guess implementation of being able to use Bluetooth, just one of many, is that you could actually route incoming MIDI signals. So you've got uh, MIDI in via the USB or also the TRS jack. So what we could do is we'll go back into the menu and we can go to global, we'll go to MIDI, and this is where we can take a look at some of our routing. So we'll go through routing. So we can take a look at uh, when a MIDI message comes in via the TRS input, uh, what MIDI outputs does it get sent to? And so we can see here that they're all set to off by default and you can toggle those those on or, on or off, scroll through them and you can do the same thing for the, um, let me go back there, for the USB through routing as well. You can see they're all set to off by default and you can, you can set those to be on or off however you'd like and that way you're not just triggering uh, chords or messages or CCs from the bridge six or the bridge four, but you can actually route 
any information. That includes if you have two or more devices connected via device link, you can pipe all of that independent MIDI data through and send it out to whatever outputs you'd like. So hopefully that gives you guys a bit of a glimpse into some of the power um, of, of MIDI and Bluetooth and also uh, a bit of a sneak peek into some of the, some of the onboard um, you know, manipulations and controls. Have fun.